This is uh, another roof in our how-to series. This is again how to repair or inspect a modified bitumen built up roof downtown Ogallala that has gone through the hailstorm. Now unlike the roof we just looked at, this one's older. You can tell it's got a lot more cracking or crazing. See all the cracks and crazes? Again, that's why you don't use silver coat. It can't expand and contract like in a white elastomeric coating can. So if we were to coat this, which is okay, you can coat it with a high-end elastomeric and it'll have a 400% elongation. That means it can handle the expansion and contraction without cracking. Silver coats cannot. Not only are silver coats not a waterproofing layer, they're only a reflective layer, they cannot expand and contract from the sun. Therefore, they crack or craze like this and they're ruined within five years, 10 years. Now this one, it has sustained a lot of hail damage because it's older. The one we looked at before was newer, so it has lighter hail damage, but there is some there. This one's easy. This is hail damage. This is hail damage, and usually you'll see it on the blisters more than the hard areas because it's soft. So when the hail hits it, it's a soft spot, and it knocks the, it knocks the top, it takes the asphalt with it. So when the silver coat comes off, underneath it you'll see the black asphalt like this. On this side, silver. Silver on this side, on this side is the asphalt from the modified bitumen roof. And it looked like, one thing I forgot to add to this uh, roof is that if you look at it, it's got a really strong pitch. You can tell your pitch by these drops. So these walls should be horizontal. And you can look at the drops and you can see pretty quick, this is at least a half 12 pitch. So it probably runs 20 feet with a one foot drop. I can see that in these drops. Now, it even drops more seriously down here. So this could be a full 112, I suspect it is. With a 112 pitch, that is great drainage. That really, water will really move. Regardless, every modified bitumen roof system like this has to have two layers. It needs a base sheet, which is smooth, no granules on it, and then the cap sheet, which is granular. And the granules keep the UV from, from eating up the, the roof surface. You can see that there's not, there wasn't a lot of granules left when they put this silver coat on, and that's why they did it. What I'm not seeing is I can't see the proof of a seam. The seams from the base sheet to the cap sheet should be staggered by 16 to 18 inches. I'm not seeing a line halfway through this mat to tell me there's a base sheet underneath this. But anytime you're on a living space with heated area underneath it, you, I will not do a mod bit unless there's two layers. Base sheet, cap sheet. It's a, it's a, a modified bitumen flat roof system or even a residential system. Always two layers of mod bit over heated space. If this were a patio, an, an open deck with, with just open, no heat underneath it, you can get away with one layer cap sheet, but not in a living space situation like this.